Welcome to the STRIVE Award Celebration, hosted by the Education Foundation of Sarasota County and made possible by H. Jack Hunkley, Charitable Foundation, Harold and Jacqueline Bladell, Charitable Trust, Florida Blue, Freeman Orthodontics, Bruce J. Heim Foundation, and Sweet Sparkman Architecture and Interiors. Now please welcome Sarasota County School Superintendent, Dr. Brennan Asplin. Welcome to the virtual STRIVE Award Celebration. I'm Dr. Brennan Asplin, Superintendent of Sarasota County Schools. We are so proud of the seniors and juniors who have overcome extraordinary challenges in school and their personal lives. This annual event showcases students from our seven comprehensive high schools. These students have made significant improvements in their strive for success by demonstrating resilience and grit. Congratulations, seniors and juniors, for this wonderful accomplishment and award. We are excited to recognize the 2022 Strive Award recipients from each of the seven high schools in Sarasota County. Select high school juniors and seniors were nominated by counselors, teachers, advisors, and school principals for their ability to persevere in the face of significant obstacles. The award recipients were selected by the review committee for their compelling ability to overcome adversity. Every high school senior who is being recognized today will receive a $1,000 cash award to help them as they pursue an education beyond high school. We will also celebrate one high school senior from each school as a super striver. Each super striver will receive a cash award totaling $2,500. We will be making those surprise announcements at the end of the program. We congratulate all the students nominated. We will now begin by recognizing the 2022 STRIVE Award recipients from each of the high schools. Let's begin with Sarasota High School. Please welcome Principal David Jones. Hello, I'm David Jones, Principal of Sarasota High School. And I wanna give a big shout out to five amazing juniors and five amazing seniors who have been honored with this award. Congratulations to each of you. You've proven yourselves and you've proven to yourselves and to the world that you are an overcomer, that you can face the toughest obstacles and still thrive. So the next time you find yourself standing in front of a huge mountain that feels impossible to climb, whether it involves your job, your future education, a significant relationship, maybe even a business you start, let these experiences help you find your way and remember why you started on this journey in the first place. Booker T. Washington once wrote, Success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which he has overcome. You've certainly all overcome a lot. I'm incredibly proud of each of you. Congratulations. Congratulations to the junior and senior strivers at Sarasota High School. Now introducing our 2022 Strive Award recipients from Booker High School. Here's Principal Dr. Rachel Shelley. The fact that they overcame the obstacles, I think is really important. It really takes perseverance, it takes resiliency, and to know each one of them personally, understand their struggle, and knowing how with a lot of support they were able to overcome. It doesn't always happen. It doesn't always happen when we can take our personal failures and turn them into success. So what makes me proud of them? The fact that they did it. The fact that they have overcome. Please welcome Jennifer Vine, President and CEO of the Education Foundation of Sarasota County. Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Vine. I'm President and CEO of the Education Foundation of Sarasota County, and we are thrilled to be hosting this year's 2022 STRIVE Awards Celebration. You've already heard from two of our high school principals as they recognized the juniors and seniors at their respective schools and it's amazing to see all of the students who have demonstrated the incredible grit, perseverance, and ability to overcome significant obstacles, and we celebrate each and every one of you. At this time, since we have just a short period of time together, we thought we'd take the opportunity to share a little bit more about two of our students so that you can see why and learn a little bit more about their own stories 
but also know that you can visit our website at www.edfoundationsrq.org and you'll see a listing of all of our students. Take a look. Let's meet one of our Strive Award recipients from Booker High School, Raven Peterson. My challenges and obstacles, well, throughout high school and even before so, a lot of the time had to do with my mental health. When I was in sixth grade and seventh grade, I just couldn't understand, you know, why I felt so sad and why sometimes I just couldn't get out of bed in the morning and I didn't understand what was happening. My mother was very confused and my friends and family were really concerned. And then eventually I said, you know, I, I want to figure out, you know, what's going on with me. I, I feel like I need help and I need more assistance. So eventually um, when I got to Booker is when they were able to put me in contact with Jewish Family Services and that center was able to go and get me a psychiatric exam and then get diagnosed what I was diagnosed with depression. So that really helped me understand what was going on because a big part of it was just not knowing. So that's, it's an ongoing struggle. It'll always be a challenge, but learning myself and, and knowing, you know, knowing myself in these different aspects of, you know, my, my mental illness helps me navigate through life and helps me know when to treat myself a certain way and, and then of course my mom always being there as a backbone and support system for me definitely helped as well. The pivotal point that changed my direction was probably my diagnosis. I think that that was a turning point for me and that it put in perspective where I was and where I wanted to be. So my dreams after high school, I guess, would be going into general surgery or criminal psychology because I just, I want to help people. I feel like that's that's what I'm meant to do. So whether that be physically or mentally, that's, that's what I'll strive to do throughout my life. So that's definitely a goal of mine. And then another part would be able to take care of my family, specifically my mom, and give back to her the way that she's given to me my entire life. I want to be an inspiration. I am an inspiration. Thank you for sharing your story with us, Raven. And congratulations to the junior and senior strivers from Booker High School. Please now welcome Pineview School Principal, Dr. Stephen Covert, who will introduce our 2022 Strive Award recipients from Pineview School. Hello, this is Dr. Covert, Principal at Pineview School, and it's my pleasure to recognize this year's Pineview Strive Award winners. Congratulations to Brian Pham, Ashley Spatafora, Diana Stepanova, Jackson Carney, and Max LaForge. I know of some of the barriers and struggles and successes these amazing young adults have experienced and overcome through grit, determination, and tenacity. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, junior and senior strivers from Pineview School. Introducing the 2022 Strive Award recipients from Venice High School, here's Principal Zoltan Karestley. Please join me in congratulating our 2022-23 Strive Award winners, Leah Sizemore, Ming Lu Zhang, McKenna Spina, Morgan Butler, and Drake Burns. These students have overcome extraordinary challenges and have strived to better themselves and achieve their dreams. I want to thank the Education Foundation's recognition of these students. I know these students deserve to be celebrated as they are improving their lives, especially concerning education. Congratulations, junior and senior strivers from Venice High School. We will now learn a little more about another profiled Strive Award recipient. Here's Joel Thame from Northport High School. I grew up in a very um, unfamiliar environment. Um, when I was in fifth grade, my mom ended up struggling with alcoholism and I ended up being moved in with my grandparents because of it. For me, school was always like an escape from all of my problems that I had outside of it. So when I would go home, I would do nothing but like homework or like talk to my friends about like what we're learning in school. And I kind of like my acquisition of knowledge sort of became like an escape from reality for me almost. My grandma was always in my corner, like defending me, making sure like I was like still able to like be in the classroom and stuff. And she supported me through my marching band journey, my color guard journey, and like anything I need from her, she just is always there, like willing to help me. And honestly, I probably wouldn't be as successful as I am without her. 
When I came to high school, I don't know what happened, but I was kind of like, okay, I'm gonna like be the most successful student I can be academically, extracurricularly. And I got very much involved trying to prove, I think what it ended up happening was I was trying to prove to myself that I was capable of doing amazing things, um, but also trying to prove it to others because I always found myself trying to like be better than everybody or like just build myself up to that like equality level. And I guess through that, I found out I actually do like learning and I proved to myself that um, I don't really have to like please other people. I actually want to go on to be a psychiatric neurosurgeon and through that I want to try to find a way to surgically fix chemical imbalances in the brain so that people that suffer from mental health conditions don't have to rely on medications to improve their quality of life. I know a lot of people that do suffer from mental health conditions and their quality of life is like not the best and they like don't like the fact that they have to rely on pills and stuff to like make themselves feel more like normal um, and I know I can probably go on to like try to fix that for people. I want to be successful. I am unique. Thank you for sharing your story with us, Joel. Introducing our 2022 Strive Award recipients from Northport High School, Principal Shannon Fusco. Hi, and congratulations to all of our Northport High School Stride awardees and honorees. This program, which I've been really excited to be a part of for almost eight years, has allowed me to see the growth of all of you as you have risen above challenges, made academic successes, planned college and career, and just enjoyed and made the most of your high school years. So I hope that you enjoy this award ceremony. I hope that you take this recognition and realize that we have all been here for you always and that you are always in our thoughts. And as you go on out into the world, make the best of it. But remember, if you've got questions or need anything, we're here supporting you as always. Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Congratulations, junior and senior strivers from Northport High School. Please welcome Principal Jack Turgeon as he announces the 2022 Strive Award recipients from Suncoast Polytechnical High School. Hi, I'm Jack Turgeon, Suncoast Polytechnical High School principal to announce this year's Suncoast Polytechnical High School Strive recipients for the 2022 school year. While our students strive to embody Suncoast Polytechnical High School four pillars of respect, responsibility, participation, and serving others, these 10 students have shown exceptional perseverance and dedication to earn the admiration and respect of their fellow classmates and their esteemed faculty. This year's Strive recipients are juniors Emily Delgado, Alexis Bertram, Danielle Posada, Jacob Griffin, and Katie Sousa. Congratulations to all our juniors. And going for our seniors this year, Kayla Campen, Luann Linder, Marta Alley, Ethan Page, and Jacqueline Castro Ortega. Congratulations to all of our seniors who are graduating this year, and we look forward to hearing great things from you ahead in your bright future. Congratulations, junior and senior strivers. Introducing our final 2022 Strive Award recipients from Riverview High School. Welcome, Principal Aaron Del Castillo. Hello, Strive Winners. This is Erin Del Castillo, Principal of Riverview High School. And I just wanted to tell you how proud I am for all the work that you have done to get to this award. This is an award in which we look at our juniors and seniors and we look at everything that they have conquered, no matter what challenge came their way and what they were able to do to still succeed. And I just wanna tell you from the bottom of my heart and your counselors and staff and the teachers, how absolutely proud we are of you. And I hope that you know that this resilience and grit that you have formed in making it this far in the program shows that no matter what comes your way, you will able to be successful. So congratulations, enjoy the program, and I look forward to see what you do in your future. Congratulations. Go Rams. Congratulations, junior and senior strivers at Riverview High School. This is an extraordinary group of deserving students from each of the seven high schools, and we congratulate each one of you once again. Please welcome back Jennifer Vine, President and CEO of the Education Foundation of Sarasota County. Hi, 
everyone, it's Jennifer Vine again from the Education Foundation of Sarasota County. I hope you all have enjoyed today's program. And as we bring it to a close, we wanna say on behalf of our board and staff one last time, congratulations to all of this year's 2022 STRIVE Award recipients. I also wanna thank the school principals, the counselors, the teachers, and the advisors who took the time to nominate you for this well-deserving award as they too saw the greatness in you. Congratulations. And now, this is an exciting time as we're going to announce at each school, one of the seniors is going to be turning in their award check and they're gonna be receiving an even larger check of $2,500 per student, high school senior, who's been recognized as this year's Super Striver. So stand by as I get ready to announce each of the seven Super Strivers at their respective high schools. The first one we wanna recognize from Booker High School, Raven Peterson. Congratulations, Raven. The second one we wanna recognize is from Northport High School. Azur Heck, congratulations to you. And from Pineview School, this year's Super Striver Award goes to Ashley Spatafora. Congratulations, Ashley. And from Riverview High School, this year's Super Striver, are you ready? Morgan Centineau. Congratulations, Morgan. And from Sarasota High School, congratulations to this year's Super Striver, Crystal Porlis. From Suncoast Polytechnical High School, the Super Striver this year, Ethan Page. Congratulations, Ethan. And finally, last but certainly not least, this year's Super Striver from Venice High School. The award goes to McKenna Spina. Congratulations, McKenna. Congratulations to all of you again for your greatness that you have done in receiving this award. We're, such, um, we're so proud of you and you're such an inspiration. We hope that you received all the mailings that we've sent you. Just please remember to reach out to us. We hope that we're also in your school celebrating with you. You all have a great day and congratulations again.